Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Yusufs. Um, Happy New Year. We have a number of things we want to do tonight. Um, typically, every year we gather here on the 1st of January to celebrate with Yusufs. It happens to be the uh, birthday of Dr. Yusuf. Uh, we use that as an excuse to get together and have some food and fellowship and have a good time with one another. Uh, we typically start up with an opening prayer, and uh, this year we'll have Brother Abiyotun Akinloi uh, lead us in the opening prayers. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Lord, we thank you and appreciate you. We thank you, Lord, for this moment. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to gather at your feet today again, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for today. We are celebrating your birthday. Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for making today a day in your lives. The majority of people in the world want to be invited this moment. For some more reason that we don't know and that we know, some are not available at this moment. But we thank you, Lord, for those of us that are here, for those that, are, that will be joining us. We really appreciate you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord. We are not taking it for granted at all. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. For 2018, we thank you, Lord. Lord, I commit to this program with your mighty hand. As we be proceeding in the program, we pray here with us. And everything that we we'll be doing today, let them be according to your to your to your injunction, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, the celebrant, the purpose of celebrating it is by we remember the day was born. Father Lord, let his joy be full today in the name of Jesus Christ. We commit to the program again unto your mighty hand, Lord. Holy Spirit, take control, take charge, take preeminent in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be thou exalted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we are prayed. There's no one like you.
Yeah, so we give God all the glory. So we'll have uh, Pastor Lucesi give us a few words of exhortation um, just to set us in the right mood for today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to uh, appreciate the life of our brother who celebrates you today. Everyone also celebrates him in the mighty name of Jesus. I also want to uh, 
appreciate everyone that is also here. You are all welcome. God will bless every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to salute all the pastors in the house. Uh, Pastor Davis, it's good to see you also. You know, at times in, the, in our local uh, language, they, say, they always say that where the big elephants are making their noise, the small elephants are made to keep quiet. <laughs> but I want to thank God for the privilege. I appreciate the privilege given me to, uh, to be the one to speak tonight. And I know the word of God that will speak will be a blessing to everyone of us in Jesus' name. Amen. You also said something that you've been doing this for years. And some of us that are just coming for the first time. So we have the opportunity to have a crew of warriors to take you along with us when we are going. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says those years shall be restored back to us. Amen. 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 Well, I will prefer years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be first score, first score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and will fly away. Who commit, who know the power of thy anger, even according to the fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long, and let it repair in thee concerning thy servant. Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy. I, I, I expect a bigger amen. 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 That we might rejoice and be glad all our days. Amen. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Let the works appear unto thy servant, amen. and the glory unto their children. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Amen. And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Amen. And establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Amen. Yea, the work of our hands establish. Least thou eat. May the Lord bless his word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, when, we, when you hear words like that, I want our amen to be resounding. Amen. So at times our amen is standing on one leg. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. By the grace of God today, I want to share uh, what I titled to story of our life. My emphasis to the scripture that I just read to us is verse 9. I'm going to read the, uh, the King James Version. It says, For all our days are passed away in the rot. We spend our years as a tale that has been told. Another translation will tell you that uh, 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 we spend our days like story. Another translation will tell you, we spend our days like a story in motion. And what that is simply saying to us is that we are spending our years and it's winding away. If we don't take the cognizance of what we are doing, everything will be done. And that's why the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, that remember now your Lord thy creator in the days of thy youth, when the evil has not come. Verse 2 says, when the grinder has not ceased, when the teeth is not, has not gone. I want to appreciate a, a, a brother who is celebrating today. Right from the day I've known him, I've known him to be a man that is always in the forefront for God. And that's why we could see the blessing of God all around him and people that are under his influence or circle of, uh, of, his, uh, of his affluence. The Bible says in the book of Job 36, verse 11, that if my people shall obey and serve me, they shall live their days in prosperity. And what that is simply saying to us is that we ain't seen nothing yet. Amen. What we are seeing is just a tip of an iceberg. Amen. Because the blessing shall be enormous. Amen. Your amen still standing on yeah. I know we are here to celebrate, but I'm not doing revival. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. But what are we saying? Believe you me, everybody in life has a story. Your story could be different from my story, but everybody has a story. The rich, envy the poor, the poor envy the rich, everybody has a story. Tony Blair said, his teacher said to him when he was at secondary school that he can never make it. Everybody has a story. Jonathan Goodluck, our former president, how many of us are from Nigeria? <laughs> At the time he had no shoe to go to school. Everybody what? Has a story. Oprah Winfrey, at the age of nine, she said she was raped. Everybody has a story. I went to visit a, a couple at the time, some years ago. When I got to their house, everywhere was sparkling clean. I said, wow, 
This is what I'm saying. I got to my own house, the whole place was scattered. I said, wow, everywhere is scattered. I went to visit another town. I saw the house again, sparkling clean. I said, wow, this is what I'm talking about. Then I asked the, the man of the house, I said, where are the children? And he said to me, he said, we've been married for 11 years. And we are trusting God. I said, wow, I prefer my house to be there. <laughs> Everybody in life has a story. And that is to tell you, don't envy people because you don't know their story. Then I realized that no matter the situation you find yourself, give thanks to the Almighty God. The Bible says a living dog is better than a dead lion. Our sister that led us into the prison and what she says, as much as we are living, we are better off. I pray heaven will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know Dr. Yusu from people, I'm, I'm pretty new in Canada. How many years now? Probably seven. <laughs> because I know some people are here over 10 years. <laughs> you know, time flies and that's just it. I don't know what doctor was doing at the time, but I know he also had his own story. But we can see where God has taken him to today. And we know where God is taking him to. I also know my own story at the time. You see, people of God, it's good to serve God all my life. It's, it's church. I was raised in the church. In, I was still talking to one of two of our guys there. Those two guys there. That's our drummer and one of our singers in the church. I said in those days, we is not, it's not a church. They forced us to learn the instrument. We learn the keyboard, we learn the bass guitar in those days, the apostolic church. In fact, whether you like it or not, you must learn it. It's not a church. And I remember those days when I got to Germany, they would smuggle me to go and play, because in those days there were few of them I went to play. I crossed the border to go and play instrument. But here I have to be. I can fly anywhere. Yeah. I have my own story. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody has a story in life. That's the first thing I want to let us to know in the few uh, what I'm going to share with us. Everybody have a story. Another thing that is very important in life is that every story, whether you like it or not, must make an history. It's not left for you what you want your story to be. As a matter of fact, I remember in those days in secondary school when we go to the class and they said we'll be taking history. And I was wondering what is history per se. And the first class we had, we were talking about a way the second. And I was what is this history? Then I got to realize that history is basically his story. Story of great men. That is what history means. His story. So every one of us, we are going to write our story one day, either by autobiography or biography. Somebody is going to write our story. But what is our story going to be? We are here now, we are celebrating the life of our brother. Believe you me, as you see him seated there, some of us are wishing him well, some people are not wishing him well. That is the irony of life. But the most important thing is, which side are we? Which side are we? So everybody's story will make history. But I want to assure us, as children of God, our story is going to be a good one. Amen. You want to ask me why? Why am I so sure? Jeremiah chapter 11 verse 29, the Bible says, The story that I've written concerning you is of good and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. To give you a future and a hope. So when we incline our ways to the Lord, our story must be sweet. Sweet stories. You might not be able to determine where you start from, or your starting point, but you can determine your hand. The Bible says those that know their God, they will work strong and do exploits. And those that don't know their God, they will work weak and they will be exploited. They will not be exploited in this society. At times, African store, they exploit us. They don't do sales. <laughs> oh Praise God. God. <laughs> no sales. No sales. African store don't do sales. Have you seen any African store doing sales? Man, can you answer us? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so, knowing God we will not be exploited in the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. The third thing about the days of our life is that 
Every story give, must give birth to another story. Mm. Your story is not meant to end with you. People will see your conquest and they say, wow, if God can do it for him, he can do it for me also. Yes. I was having a chat with, uh, with a pastor while we were seated there and we were just encouraging ourselves that a time will come that the ministry will be so big that you will, you will have so much time to spend alone by yourself. So story, our story in life is to give birth to another story. I pray heaven will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I know some of us, we know that doctor has some university in the Caribbean, right? Before you know it, I'm going to start my own in Africa. Praise God. Amen. 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 Nigeria. Ah, no, no, no. There are so many universities in Nigeria. I don't want too much competition. Is, is God telling you to tell me? <laughs> Praise God. I'm going to round up very quickly. I want us to look at the scripture. Uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Romans, if anybody sees it before me, you can please read. Romans, um, Romans chapter 8, verse 29. For whom he did for no, for whom he did for no, he also did predestinate. He also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Hallelujah. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Praise God. And that is to tell us that God has predestinated every one of us to be in our high places. Believe you me, whatever the plans of God for your life, as a matter of fact, they will tell you that. Uh, the evil ones can just wind the clock backward, but you can never be denied of your destiny. If you hold on to God, your destiny must be fulfilled. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18, the Bible says the path of the righteous shine, get shiner and shiner till the end of days. That is to tell you there is no old man in Zion. By the time doctor is 80, that's when you will know that he's a young man. Amen. Amen. Order a nice cheese from Italy <laughs> and put a nice party upon his head. Then you will know there's no, no, no old man in Zion. The only thing doctor needs to deal with is the keg. You make it six pack like my own. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> so our part is meant to shine and shine and shine. That was a, a, a New Year resolution, right, sir? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, don't let people that don't know your story stop your glory. Mm. Believe you me, there are so many people that would discourage you of so many things. I remember when I got to this country myself, I had so many things. But one thing about me is, I will always ask you, is God telling you to tell me? The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 8, verse... 12. He said, don't say confederacy to their confederacy. Don't fear their fear. People, you know in those days in Nigeria, they would say, ah, Nigeria is dirty girl. At times I won't listen to them. Those, but I'm very good. That's my own with your own. Don't say confederacy to confederacy. But the Bible says, when they shall be saying, they shall be casting down. For us, what? They shall be lifting, they shall be lifting up. up. You must believe the word of God. Whatever Doctor might have seen before he took that faith, uh, step of faith is the faith of God in him. The Bible says when we have a seed like a mustard seed, we say to this mountain, be that removed and be cast away, and it will be done. We must have faith in God. The Bible did not say the just shall live by the number of cars that you have. The Bible did not say the just shall live by the number of houses that you own. The Bible did not say the just shall live by the number of degrees that you have. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. faith. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Uh, Galatians chapter 3 verse 8. The just shall live by faith. And another beauty thing about it is Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. Without this faith, you cannot please God. It's not the money that you own or the car that you have. Or the degrees that you get that will please God. But having faith and having belief in him, that you know what? It could look so bad today, but with God on my side, everything shall be well. I pray that will be our Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
The last thing I want to share with us is story inspired greater story. Testimony will come. When they begin to see what God is doing in the life of a brother, you get inspired. If God can do it for him, he can also do it for me. Uh, I think I have a scripture that I put here. Romans chapter 10 verse 12. I'm going to read it. The Bible says, For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all. And what he has done to Taye, he can do it to Kenny. And it will better be ready. We are all in this land to become great and mighty people. When we put our faith together and we work together in faith and in love, you get opinion and ideas from people and you just take it and you walk in faith. You are there. But when, you know, we should be careful on the kind of friends that we, we choose. They call it friend because they will determine your end. And that is why it's so important in this part of the world. There are so many distractions out there. And I thank God for the, from the day I got to know Dr. True, my pastor's friend. Believe you me, it has been a wonderful relationship. Wonderful relationship. It will just be as if we've known for a long time. And that is how it's supposed to be. That is what it's meant to be. I pray heaven will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. I say heaven will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Your story is not meant to end with any other person, uh, with you, but also to inspire people. I am you. <laughs> I want to make sure that you actually keep your word. And okay. Make sure by the time you leave the table, <laughs> the four or five or six or seven years, have left the table as well. <laughs> Well, thank you very much uh, for your inspiring words. So at this time, we'll move on to the prayer uh, for the celebrants and family. Uh, typically, we'll have the family come in. item on the agenda, which is the prayers for the celebrant. So we'll have Pastor Mushesi, uh, Sister Christiana, and Professor Kimberly. If you could just come around and maybe surround them. Please could you just join me with this song and as we sing it, on behalf of Dr. Yusuf and his entire family, I wanted to sing it to yourself too, because I'm sure God is taking you somewhere greater than that. Amen. and stretch your hand towards them. Let us agree in faith as we speak and he will perform that which we ask. I want you to begin to speak into the lives of these ones. What you desire for yourself, speak unto them because like your bad people say when you point your finger out, for comes back to you. It means you are getting a multiple of those blessings to speak. I want you to speak life unto this family. Life from the throne of grace to come unto this family and overshadow them because the Lord Jesus Christ is the truth and the life and the way. That a life of God, the Zoe of God, 
Descend from heaven upon this family and do a new thing. Energize them, strengthen them, lead them, protect them, give them new fervency in the things of heaven. The Bible says, as the arrow in the hand of a mighty man, so are the children of our youth. Dr. Yusuf, you will be in a place at a time. The arrow, they are the children that have come out of your loins. Yes. They will be in a de strategic places. Yes. And all you do is to give them a word. Yes. And they will run and they will fulfill it. Amen. Because greatness shall be yours. Amen. And your seed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty Father, we always say behind any successful man, there must be a woman. Thank you for this. Thank you because he's not just a woman beside him, amazing one for that matter. Lord, I say our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Almighty Father, I stand on the apostolic ground this day and I declare, Ma, sickness will not locate you. Amen. I say sickness will not find you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. any evil arrow shot in any form, in any shape, I declare it shall be back to sender. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You shall eat of the harvest of your labor. Amen. Oh, the grace of God that makes one want to work and not to labor. I declare it shall rest upon your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Almighty Father, I dip this family in the blood of Jesus. Your countenance will go with them. When they call on one, thousands will show forth. That lead to see that you will not depart from our land. Every one of us, this is our year. We will celebrate. Everyone shall become celebrated. Amen. In Jesus' name. Please, while we are in the attitude of prayer, I just want to speak this word that the Lord gave unto us. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the question. Oh, Jesus. So this is. Let's all come down and listen to me. Father, we want to thank you and praise you, Lord, for this wonderful gift that you have given unto us for our generation, Dr. Yusuf and the family. We bless you, God, for all the blessings that you have given unto him. Father, we commit everything that he does, O God, into your hands, even as your people have said earlier, that they will impact this generation for your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, that everything that they touch, O Lord, you will let it flourish to your glory. And as the people have prayed already, O oh God, I pray that the children that you have given unto him will be like arrows, O oh God, that will land on target on everything that you do. Father, I pray also, O oh God, that you will let the Taisi be like a friend, even as Abraham was unto you. Every decision that you wanted to take, O oh God, concerning nations, O oh God, you said, should I not talk to Abraham about it? Father, cause the Taisi's ears to be opened. Oh God, to hear your word unto him every moment of his life. So do I pray that the wife, oh God, will have praying needs, oh Lord. That everything that they share together, they will be able to pray together to move mighty mountains, oh God, for your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, that there will be open heavens, oh Lord, concerning their lives and concerning their children. Let them exceed excellence in their studies and in everything that they do. Thank you, Lord, that you will help them, O oh God, in all things that they do. Give them discernment, understanding, wisdom, O oh God, in their studies. Thank you, Lord, for the food that you have given unto us this night. I pray that you will sanctify it, O oh God, to your glory. Thank you for all those who made uh, help in cooking this food. And I pray, O oh God, that as each person partakes of it, you will bless them in all things. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen.